Nature can create some truly beautiful things. Here are the top five most beautiful beach shells. Number five, auger shells. The auger shells get their name from the shell's resemblance to boring drill bits or screws. The elongated slender body of the shell gives them a refined and graceful appearance. These types of shells are sometimes inhabited by the auger snail, which is a predatory carnivorous snail that lives in the sand of warm waters, usually hiding beneath rocks and coral. They have poison glands and use a barbed tooth to sting and paralyze their prey. Their venom is similar to the venom of cone shells, which is being studied for its potential medical applications. There are around 300 different species of these snail worldwide, and about 20 of them inhabit North American waters. Number 4. The Sunrise Telon The beautiful Sunrise Telon is probably the prettiest seashell of the 350 species of the Telon family. Its glossy, smooth surface often comes in warm, yellowish tones with pink, red, or purple radial stripes coming from the top that reminds us of a beautiful sunrise, which is exactly where it got its name from. There is a lot of variation in their color patterns, so each shell you find is its own story and can be a unique addition to a seashell collection. The shell is usually around 2.5 inches long, but can reach up to 4 inches. The shell is usually inhabited by a creature called a mollusk, which can be found in the Western Atlantic Ocean, typically in the Caribbean Sea. It lives on the sea floor in depths from 5 to 48 feet, usually buried in sand. But anyways, let's move on to number 3. The glory of the sea cone is not only known for its striking appearance, it is also one of the most famous and most expensive seashells out there. The seashell is larger than most, it measures between 8 to 12 inches on average, but sometimes can be longer than 17 inches. Its elegant shape, polished porcelain-like surface, and the intricate patterns give it a unique appearance. Aside from the classic brown and copper tones, it can also have golden and blue colors. From the time of its discovery in the 18th century, up until 1969, it was only owned by museums and rich collectors due to its rarity and its value. It had a real celebrity status among rich European collectors. In one case, a shell was even stolen from a museum, the first ever case of a shell being stolen before. Today, they can be bought for a much lower price, as new diving technology led to the discovery of larger numbers of the shell. It's still, however, one of the most desirable seashells among collectors, not only because of its legacy, but because it looks pretty amazing. The glory of the sea cone snail that inhabits these shells is found in the Pacific and Indian Oceans, mainly off the Solomon Islands. It is a venomous predator and lives in the sand at depths of anywhere from 10 to 300 meters. Number 2. The Sacred Chank The beauty of the Sacred Chank shell lies in its simplicity. Although it's perfectly lovely on its own, its pristine white surface and elongated, elegant appearance has made it the perfect canvas for some amazing works of art, inspired by the religious significance that it had among Hindus and Buddhists. The sacred chank, also called the chank shell, or the diving conch, is a type of huge sea snail that lives in the Indian Ocean and surrounding seas. It got its name Chank from the Indian word Shanksha. A Shanksha is the name for the shell of this snail, which describes the shape of this particular shell. In the Buddhist and Hindu's religions, this type of shell is thought to give fame, longevity, wealth, and cleansing properties. It is also seen as a symbol of water, fertility, and even snakes, which are believed to have magical powers over rain and hail. In the Hindu religion, this shell is associated with the god Vishnu or Shiva, depending on which way its coil turns. The more rare, right-turning type of shell is linked with Vishnu, and it is said that Vishnu's consort and goddess of wealth resides in it. The Chang shell has also been used as a musical instrument for ceremonial and war purposes in the past. This is done by cutting off the tip of the chank shell spire. Seashells in general have been used as instruments for centuries, but this type of shell in particular is apparently very good for making sound. In fact, these shells may have been the first musical instruments used by human beings. 
In the Hindu religion, the sound is said to symbolize the Om, the most sacred area of Hinduism. And finally, let's move on to number one, the Queen Conch. This beautiful pink seashell belongs to one of the largest sea snails in the Caribbean Sea, the Queen Conch Snail. It can reach up to 14 inches in length. This herbivorous snail lives among seagrass and often around coral reefs. The sandy colored outside of its shell helps it blend in with its surroundings and hide from predators, such as sea turtles and nurse sharks, for which it is an important food source. The shell is pretty thick, which adds a lot more protection to the snail. As the snail ages, the shell actually increases its thickness. So the older the snail, the thicker the shell. The shell is not only used by this snail though. When it dies, other snails, crabs, or even fish can use it for protection. The queen conch usually lives up to seven years, but in deeper waters, it can even reach 20 to 30 years in age. It is not an endangered species, but its numbers have reduced significantly over the past few decades, as commercial fishing operations threaten its habitat. Because of its pretty appearance, it's often sold as a souvenir and used as a decorative object. The pink surface around the opening of the shell can have hints of cream, peach, yellow, or even magenta. It's known that the shell's development and appearance is greatly affected by its environment, not just its genes. For example, if the queen conch is located in an area with a lot of predators, it will likely develop an even thicker outer shell layer. In the past, Native Americans and indigenous people in the Caribbean have used the shell to create various tools, jewelry, and cookware. In fact, the ancient Aztecs made their jewelry with it. The shells have also been used as instruments. The Aztecs believed the trumpet-like sound made from the Queen Conch shell represents a divine manifestation, and they used them in various religious ceremonies. The Mayan civilization also used the shells as boxing gloves if you could believe that, as well as in religious ceremonies. The Queen Conch shell also became popular in Europe from around the 16th century, when explorers began bringing them back to the continent of Europe. They were widely used to decorate areas like fireplaces and English gardens. Although they're still very popular, their export is now tightly regulated. In very rare cases, the Queen Conch can even produce pearls. One in every 10,000 queen conch shells has a pearl, which makes them one of the rarest and most expensive types of pearls in the world. Before we close out today's video, we have just a couple honorable mentions that didn't make the list. First, take a look at this, the Atlantic Caliso Scallop. Caliso scallops are probably the first thing people imagine when they talk about seashells and they're popular for a reason. Their colorful, spotted shells are undeniably beautiful. Another reason for their popularity is because they're quite easy to find on a beach. In fact, if you've ever found a shell before, it is likely a Caliso scallop shell. The Caliso shells got their name from the resembling Caliso, a colorful, inexpensive fabric with small flower patterns that used to be sold in the United States. The shell comes from a mollusk creature that lives in the open waters in depths from 30 to 1,200 feet. It can be found in a wide area from the east coast of the US, the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean Sea, and all the way down to Brazil. The Caliso scallop grows about 3 inches in width and typically lives for 18 months. It can move by quite rapidly, closing its shell quickly to propel it forward. Most Caliso scallops have anywhere from 50 to 100 tiny blue eyes. That's pretty cool. But take a look at this last one. Cowrie shells come in many different sizes and color patterns, but their unique egg-shaped appearance is instantly recognizable, as well as their perfectly smooth porcelain-like surface. The shell gets its name from the old Italian word for the cowrie shell, porcellana. One of the most interesting thing about cowrie shells is that they've been used in the past as currency in many parts of the world. They have been the most widely used type of shell money worldwide and have been important in the trade networks of Africa, South Asia, and East Africa. Even the classical Chinese used it for currency. They have also been used extensively as jewelry and other decorative and ceremonial pieces. They are seen as symbols of fertility, 
birth, wealth, and good luck. In certain cases, they have been used in board games and for gambling. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to check out my previous upload, and remember to subscribe for more.